Welcome, friends. I hope you're well. I bid you join me for a spell. Sit by, pipe down, and be regaled with our beloved city's tale. I'll tell you through my weak narration of how it met with its salvation. From Mad Gear's grip its neck was freed by one man's most extraordinary deeds. For years had Metro City's streets been trampled under thuggish feet, its dwellers caged with no escape from endless murder, theft, and rape, until a man stood tall and pledged to pry away the dagger's edge. It was truly apt, the city's prayer be answered by its very mayor, his homeland sacked. His kin despoiled, his anger's cauldron overboils. All those who left this city scarred would taste the fist of Mike Hagar. Outnumbering him, they jeered and taunted. Still he sallied forth undaunted. Knuckles flew, and in a flash of speed and fury came the clash. As though he were a righteous sword, he tore unscathed through endless hordes until at last he reached a flow that gave him pause. Eddie? No! How could this be, a lawman lured by wickedness he once endured? From whence came this? What was the source? Money, came his reply, of course. But Hagar would not step awry. All allies of the gear must die. If he had donned a traitor's crown, then he as well would be struck down. And would that in a fateful brawl a pure heart and grit could vanquish all. But cowards have their cowards' ways, with muskets' muzzles set ablaze. A tragic victory won that eve. For Hagar's death we must not grieve. In proof of his gallant resilience, his eyes were met with marble brilliance. As it was penned in ancient scrolls, Valhalla called to Hagar's soul. His wings of courage had him flown to stand at mighty Odin's throne. Long have I awaited thee of boundless strength and bravery. This day will grant my Einherja a true-born hero, Mike Hagar. O oh, daring knight, of you I plead, we in our time of crisis need a warrior of finest stock to lead the charge in Ragnarok. 
greatest honor, call to aid, nay, lead in this divine crusade. Yet Hagar stood as still as clay. Was this his choice? Was this the way? To join the ranks of God's elites would leave his mission incomplete. Forever would the mad gear reign and strangle all in bloody chains. Hagar felt his rage renew and in his mind bore witness to a vision of his ravaged land. No, thought he, this will not stand. The path before Hagar was clear. His duty was to end the gear, and thus he shunned this godly war. Mayo was he, and nothing more. A first in history's winding track, the Aesir shone a mortal's back. Odin flared and in his ire cast his gracious veils of fire. You, a human, have the gall to turn away from Asgard's halls? What right have you to spurn my rule? I, the god of gods, you fool! So be it, dog, you will not yield, and thus your wretched fate is sealed. By Odin's will, you'll serve your time within the midst of Niflheim. And from the sky, a blinding light shook the very earth that night. A god's descent, his foolish pride, crushed neath Hagar's steel backside. And though the battle was well fought, it does provoke a dreadful thought of champions' husks on darkness fed, and all their vaunted valor bled. Had not this man once stood defiant against injustice, a noble giant? Yet here he lay his garments stained with ink of Franklin's ill-obtained. Are all great men assured to fall to gold's beguiling siren call? Does our hero have his price? Could he too succumb to vice? And if from me your waiting ears, plaintive eyes and unshed tears seek the answer to these questions pay attention whom do you think this tale's about some weepy whelp a spineless sprout outward bold and inward vile a turnit coat for a paper pile no this is not the ballad of guy or cody sages weak and frail and bony if you'll think back and not too far recall that i speak of mike hagar <laughs> and so, pursuing evil scent, Hagar strode forth his wrath unspent. And I, your faithful balladeer, cry out in zealous joy, round, clear.